Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. We all know that lowering high blood pressure is a very important way to reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke. But a very large study completed in 2022 has shown that lowering high blood pressure in adults 69 years and older can also significantly lower their risk of developing dementia. So the researchers examined the relationship between blood pressure and dementia by analyzing results from five double-blind placebo-controlled randomized studies and followed patients until the development of dementia. The study involved over 28,000 individuals from 20 countries with an average age of 69 years old and a history of high blood pressure. Across these studies, the mid-range of follow-up was about four years. As one of the researchers stated when they looked at the results, we found there was a significant effect of treatment and lowering the odds of dementia associated with a sustained reduction in blood pressure in this older population. They went on to say, our results imply a broadly linear relationship between blood pressure reduction and lower risk of dementia regardless of which type of treatment was used. So this means that the greater the reduction in high blood pressure, the lower the risk of developing dementia as the years went by. And that regardless of what method was used to lower blood pressure, various drugs, exercise, weight loss, supplements, etc., the same reduction in dementia risk was shown. A few years ago it was suggested that blood pressure lowering drugs called ARBs, which are angiotensin receptor blockers, might be superior in reducing risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease in patients with high blood pressure who are older. But this very large 2020 uh, multiple study review shows us that simply lowering high blood pressure by any means is effective in reducing dementia risk as the years go by. So I'll point out to you that in addition to drug therapy, some dietary exercise, supplementation, and lifestyle strategies have also been shown to reduce high blood pressure. The most important natural methods to reduce high blood pressure include losing excess body fat, doing regular aerobic exercise, reducing salt intake, increasing calcium intake to about 1200 milligrams a day, supplementing with a combination of coenzyme Q10 and Hawthorne, taking a supplement with omega-3 fats, as well as meditation and progressive relaxation and deep breathing techniques. As the researchers pointed out, dementia is fast becoming a global epidemic, cur currently affecting an estimated 50 million people worldwide, and this is projected to triple by the year 2050, mainly driven by an aging population worldwide. Currently, the health cost for each person with dementia is estimated to be $20,000 to $40,000 per year in the United States. So it's important to know your current blood pressure reading and to track it over time. If it's high, thankfully, there are drugs that can help to lower it. But remember that lifestyle medicine is good medicine, which can complement drug therapy for this condition, as I have outlined, and should also be included in the overall management of high blood pressure, in my view. In many cases, the diet, exercise, weight loss, supplementation, and mind-body approach, as I've mentioned above, can eliminate the need for high blood pressure medication or lower the dosage of drugs required, which helps to reduce their potential side effects. So I've included the link for this research article in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.